Okay, so we're doing part two of the O's driver video right now, which is actually um, a couple, about a week or so after I did the others. Sorry about that, guys. Um, there's a lot of glare coming with some things. Um, now, this is going to go up regardless of whether or not transcode, so just, I don't know, the color's kind of off right now. Let's see if we can fix that. So I believe we went over the um, actual uh, look of the belt and that. Now I think we're going to go over the functions um, of this mainly. So part one was the belt and uh, part two is going to be the actual O scanner. Um, part three, uh, which I did, is um, the, uh, like the henshin. Um, like with me actually wearing the belt, but that's already done. Okay, so when we turn it on, we get a white light and then the three LEDs power up. And then there's a, uh, if you put your hand in here, I can get all four of my fingers in here. And there's a big button in the inside, kind of like the, uh, well, not really like the XA knuckle, but it's kind of like the XA knuckle. So we press it down, we get uh, cell, uh, seven colors in here, uh, representing the, uh, uh, five um, greed and then um, the, the uh, cell metals and then I think an extra greed or something that might appear I don't know that's for later we don't know anything yet so here we go with the uh, I'm getting up close and to do this a little bit better. Mm. Yeah, there, okay. Sorry, my light's kind of going off. Now, if you can see on the back here, there's a circle. That is actually where the uh, sensor is. And you can also see mine has quite a bit of a uh, scoring on the back because I've been using it quite a lot. So I think we went over these. Um, how there's the chip inside, and like the diecast. This is like a core metal, the talk of core metal. So if we scan it, I'll do that again, really at close. The first light lights up, and then the center goes red representing this. It would be the same for this, except for yellow, and this, for um, uh, green for the insects. This one, I think there's also a green one, this is the Kamakiri metal. It's also green because it's an insect one. So, um, I think I'm going over the uh, little uh, things on the inside of the belt there. The one, two, and then three. And then also on the top here, one, two, and three. Um, unfortunately, because this is such a black plastic and my webcam doesn't really uh, do dark stuff good, can't really see it. Actually, I'll try doing the uh, camera and thing. Uh, I got seat one line. Two line, three line, and then one, two, and three. There you go, you got a nice close up of the uh, thing. And my Windows Messenger thing popped up, asking me to sign in. Don't need that. Okay, so how about we do a scan? Uh, we take the Taka metal, stick it in the head metal slot, like the first line is head metal. Second line is body slot, so we'll take Tora, slide it in there. Second line, uh, third line is for legs, so we'll take Bata, stick it in there. And then we we'll turn that. We we'll take this. Ah, 
the famous song that everybody likes? Is that me? I think uh, some of the other ones are kind of better. Um. So the uh, number three button on the top here is actually released. So you press that down and go like that. You can't just, it just won't go. So then you can of course change the uh, metal, or the center. Is that something you can really change like this? And, uh, you get a normal hinge and sound. You can do that with like a lot of the other metals, which I had, I did demonstrate, but you know, those won't be going up till I finish this. Okay. Now, you don't need to do it slow, you can actually just, uh, and then if you've already scanned them, if you scan them again, you get scanning charge which is just like uh, from my talk. Now a couple neat things you can do is there's actually a sensor in here uh, right about here that actually tells the thing what to do it's the same as the uh, metal jelliber. Um, it's a chip similar to these I think just a little bit smaller um, and uh, you don't actually need to use the rail you just have to be in about uh, let's see so about that far away. Um, now here's a little funny thing we can do. As long as you keep the button pressed down while you're scanning, you can do that. And you actually can scan uh, more than one metal, it's just it's only going to read the last three. Um, there actually is a trick, uh, trick where you can take two metals and uh, scan them, but uh, like just a little bit like that, and it'll actually get something different. I tried it a few times, but it's a little hard to do. Let's see if we can actually do it. Okay. Same Kamakiri, which is like the one underneath it, but it's not really really the Taka. Try to talk about Tora. Yeah, see, I it's hard to do. I haven't been able to master it yet. So, um, so that is it for the uh, the buckle. You had actually pop that off. I don't know if I covered that. Just it's a ring. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, I've already done part three and uh, everything, so, now that I've done this, I'm going to see if there's a transcode, and then if it doesn't, I'll just upload it anyway, um, and then I have some other reviews I need to do today, so, here we go.